Hi, I'm Wayne Lennox from Cottage Life. Last year I built this bunkie above my shop and we wanted to include a bathroom. Bathroom needs a door. What are my options? A, I can buy a pre-hung door and that includes jams already cut, door fitted. You simply put it in the opening, plumb it up and you're done. Or B, I have to custom make the jams and fabricate uh, or perhaps modify the door to fit this opening. Uh, in this case, I'm going to have to go with a custom hanging because my wall is too thick for an ordinary pre-hung jam and I'm going to have to have a shorter door to fit this opening. I had to frame it in this fashion to suit my uh, rafters. This is not a big deal. I'm going to take you downstairs and show you how to do this. So here we are down in the shop and we're going to start making the frame. So what do we have to determine? Well, first of all, we're going to have to determine the length of the jam. The side jams should be about an inch shorter than the rough opening. Why an inch shorter? Because I'm going to be fitting the top of the jam on top of the sides and I need at least a quarter to uh, shim for level. Then I'm going to cut the door, which I've already done. This was the found door, by the way. I cut it an inch shorter than my side jams. I need a little clearance at the top. Obviously, when the door swing and close, you don't want it to bind. And some clearance at the bottom as well. Width was determined, obviously, by the width of the wall. And I measured in several places because I wanted to make sure that I had it, uh, I accommodated the widest spot of the walls. I came up with about four and seven eighths. So I had to rip this to four and seven eighths. All right, our next step is to lay the hinge jam on the door about an eighth of an inch over and up against my hinges. Here's a tip. Upstairs, we wrote two by four side on here just to make sure that our orientation was correct. Now I know exactly that this is going to be my hinge side. Now I'm going to lay out for the hinges and we'll rotor them out. So first of all, I assemble the jam on the floor by screwing the top of the jam to the sides. Uh, you can nail it, but I prefer the screwing. Then I inserted it in the rough opening. Well, my first step is to level the top. That's the most important step. And then plumb the hinge side. Then install the strike side, making sure it's an equal distance from the hidden side. Also keep in mind that this opening should be one quarter inch greater than the door. So what's left? First thing I'm going to do is install the stop. After the stop is installed, I'll put the strike in place. And finally, I'll trim out the door with my casing. And then Lastly, final adjustments to the door, but in the meantime, I gotta go.